So just a three-point game now as they send this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. So we've reached halftime here in the Super Bowl as we go up to Orlando now and hand it over to Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. What a season this has been. Hard to believe it ends tonight as we'll get back to you guys for the second half of this Super Bowl in just a moment. Thank you, sir. A field goal separates these two teams as we come back for this second half. For the never tedious halftime show behind us, and now it's back to football as we get going again in Super Bowl 54. This will be taken very short. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Here comes the 49ers offensive unit as they'll have it first to begin this third quarter. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that, Tony. from the Colorado man getting a hand in on it to throw on second and ten Ryan stepping up he'll try and run and oh he's going to be brought down by the face mask here come the flags this is going to get him a first down defense Charles, did I just hear that right? They declined the personal foul. Three yards, they just declined them. And I have to think that the official is thinking to himself, did I just hear that correctly, that you declined that one? All I can think of is that someone on the field got confused. Because they had to, because you're going to take the yards on that penalty each and every time. Ryan, he may try and run for this. Taking matters into his own hands, and he picks up four yards and a first down. How many times do we hear the third down may be the most important down in football? And there's no better example than what we just saw right there. Forced to scramble, knows where the first down. Marker is, dives for it and gets it. What a big time play, putting his body on the line to pick up a key first down. The Pro Bowl wideout Julio Jones is intended receiver. And now it's second down. Now Mahomes forced out to his left. He'll try and run it. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. A couple of first downs has the football position at the 43 as they come up first and 10. On first down, they look downfield, and it's complete. And he gets it down deep into San Francisco territory. An outstanding pickup there for the Chiefs. 52 yards. Excellent execution, and now they're set up nicely. Are they ever? Red zone? I wonder what the next play call is going to be, because after a big play like that, a lot of teams like to use the momentum to launch another one. Play fake here on first down. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. Julio Jones once again the intended target, but it'll be second and goal. The line of scrimmage once again the five as they get ready for second and goal. To throw, it's Mahomes rolling to his left. And that is caught, but 
the back judge right there to say incomplete. Julio Jones once again the intended target, but now it's third and goal. Here's Mahomes, third and goal. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. How about the defensive stand here from first and goal, three straight incompletion. Yeah, I think people are wondering why didn't they try and run it at least once in there. But once the first incompletion happened, it's almost like they were committed to throwing the ball from then on out. A good drive gets them inside the five, but they could not punch it in. And credit the defense, too. Make sure that that happens because that was the old bend but don't break approach. Made sure they contained them when they absolutely had to and forced the field goal attempt that went through. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25. Throw on first down to Bryan. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Nick Bosa just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. Throwing on second and long. Ryan. Got to give him points for the attempt, but there's just a wave of pressure there. A host of people in the area. Evades a few, but couldn't evade all of them. They get 16 out of that one, but they'll still need to convert on third. The battle in the trench is never more important than right now. This is third and inches. Looking deep for Julio. And this will be caught at the 30. A gain of 39 that time. Well, big plays back and forth just continue. Both offenses excelling. And I hear the excitement in your voice while you're calling this game. This hurts my soul as a defensive player watching these teams go up and down the field and put points on the field. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Matt Ryan connecting on his fourth touchdown pass of the ball game. And the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. And when a Hail Mary is completed for a touchdown pass like that, I think any defensive coordinator just puts their face right into their hands. I don't think there's any doubt about it. And I don't have stats in front of me. I don't have the empirical numbers that say that in recent years, the Hail Mary pass has been completed more than it has been. But it feels that way, doesn't it? And I know the defenses are spending more time on it. I think the biggest mistake they make is that they play everything from behind the receiver. I think they've got to start getting people in front as well to try and knock the ball away. And this one's caught. And their fourth quarter lead grows by a couple more. And of course, on the two-point try, had the option to run or pass. They pass it there, and it works. Felt pretty straightforward, didn't it? An open receiver, ball's put on him, two points for them. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. This will be fielded at the eight. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. So now the Niners down by 11, just over two minutes to go. They've come so far this year, but they need two quick scores late in this Super Bowl.
this. Ryan's going to throw it. He completes it to Jones. And he's across for the touchdown. And in the final minute, that should just about seal it. Well, we've seen these two, Matt Ryan and Julio Jones, connect quite a few times over the years. It never gets old. It never gets old. Well, maybe for the defense it does, yeah. but not for us who are watching it. And Julio, every time he steps on the field, you can just about mark him down for 100 yards. That's about his career average per game. But think about this. Getting in the end zone has always been a struggle for him. He gets the big yardage, but he doesn't get the touchdowns. Not this time. No matter how many people were kicked in coverage, he found a way to beat it. Matt Ryan now breaks the huddle. His guys will go for two. Now it's Ryan. Blitz coming and down he goes. Protection was great. He had time to set up a camp. Here's Ryan. Looking for Jones, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the former first rounder, Jimmy Ward. And the Kansas City Chiefs are the Super Bowl champions. And their remarkable season ends in the most remarkable of ways. They get to put next to their name, Super Bowl champion. And they can't ever take that away, can they? Nope. That lasts forever. So good to see the emotion when it's all said and done. You see the hugs. You see the guys sharing the collective happiness. Makes me want to carry you around a little <laughs> bit on my shoulders to celebrate the triumph. And congratulations to them. A fantastic season. And they end this year just how everybody wants to end the year, holding the Lombardi Trophy. What a season for them. What a ride it's been for us as well here in the booth. For Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gunn. Thanks for watching, everybody. We will see you next season right here on EA Sports.